I need to bring everything back together. There's been a separation. I need to bring everything back together. And then there is a cutting and a cutting away. And after that cutting away, there is a stretching process. Yes, Lord. And Lord knows, I don't know about any of you, but that's where I am. I'm in that stretching uh -huh, process. Uh -huh. That process that he, we hear about here in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I know you're trying to figure out how in the world, what in the world does this have to do with the scripture? But it has to do with the stretching process. The process that we hate the most. You know why? Because we are pressed on every side. With trouble. Come on. The trouble is the hand of the Lord. We see it as whatever the finances or the children or the job or the ministry or whatever that trouble, you name it. I could keep going on and on, but your trouble is, is, is different from my trouble. We are pressed on every side. But guess what? We are not crushed. The dough doesn't become crushed. The dough doesn't fall apart in the pressing. The dough doesn't uh, crumble. It doesn't break apart because it has the proper balance of everything that God has placed inside of it. It is perplexed. Why is God doing this to me? Why am I being turned from the left and the right? Why am I being bent and twisted? Why am I, why is he putting me on this side and now he's putting me on this side and he told me to go north and I went that way. Now he's telling me to go left and what is going on? We're perplexed, we're confused. We don't understand. We want um, clarity, but it is his process. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. There is always hope in Christ. Our hope is in him. We might not understand all that is going on, but we are not the master. We're not the master chef. We're not the master. We are not the person creating out of this dough. He is our good father. He is a very good father. He is the master baker. He is the master chef. He knows exactly what to do with what he has created. It's a stretching process. If you've ever seen pizza, after they do all of that twisting, they sprinkle, again, here it goes, they sprinkle that flour on the, on the, 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 the board or the counter or whatever it is, and, and they start off with their hand with a gentle tool. That's what the Lord does to us. He gently pushes and he gently applies pressure. He gently presses on your heart to say, come to me, move this way. Pull out, stretch out a little yeah. bit. You've only been praying 15 minutes. I think you can do 20. Come on, I think you can do 25. The ministry through our leaders is saying, come on, push a little further. Yeah. We're going to pray. We're going to fast. We're going to commit ourselves to the word. Yeah. It's that gentle press yeah. that first happens to cause the dough to realize this is a good process. This is good this for is good me. Process. This is happening for my benefit. Wait a minute, I am growing again. I am expanding again. I am becoming large again. Wait a minute. I can do this. I can um, become more than this, just this small clump that I feel like I have been reduced to after the proofing and after the cutting and after the kneading, where I feel like I have become insignificant. He begins to press again. He begins to push down and stretch out and he just gently, patiently, just pushing down pushing down and spreading out. And before you know it, that clump of dough that was like this is now the size of a, of a small plate. But that's still not enough. Still not There's enough. still more stretching yeah. to do. There's still more. So then they pull out a roller. Yes, they do. <laughs> and you as the clump of dough are like, oh, you see that roller? And you're like, no, that can't be for me. And guess what he does? He sprinkles a little no, more flour yes, on you. Some more word yes, to show Lord, you. Yes, he gives you more of himself yeah. to explain, I'm here with you. Yeah. We are hunted down, yeah. but never abandoned yeah. by God. He sprinkles a little more flour. 
power and he says, I'm right here. I'm here. I'm still the foundation of everything that is related to you. I'm still the foundation of what's going to keep you, what's going to take you to where I'm trying to get you to be. I haven't left you in this process yet. It looks like you can't see me anymore. No one seems to see that white flower that was sprinkled on when I was leaving. No one seems to know that that white flower that's sprinkled everywhere else, it seems like the flower stays everywhere else. It stays on the counter. It stays on your clothes. It stays on the pan. The word is sticking to everything around you. You can't seem to see it in yourself during this process. But he's ever present. So he reminds you of what you did. That I'm here. I'm right here. I'm what's keeping you together as this thing is stretching. I'm what's causing all the ingredients to stay in the proper balance. I am what is the foundation of who you are. So the baker, he then sprinkles some more flour on and he takes out the roller. The roller is that hard thing, that thing that you feel like is impossible, that thing that won't bend, that situation, that circumstance, that mindset, that thought process that you think is just so hard and he just begins to roll. At first, it's just a light roll. It's just on you just enough to make you pliable. But then it becomes a pressing down with this hard thing. Some of us feel like the weight of the world is on us. Some of us feel like we have so much that we're juggling. We're juggling home. We're juggling work. We're juggling time to pray. We're juggling what do I do? How do I make uh, two nickels turn into a dollar? Everything that we are doing, we're dealing with our own mind. Can I do it? Will I do it? Do I want to do it? Do people think I can do it? What does it look like? What will it look like? Will God be pleased? Will I be pleased? All of these things are in our mind. And that's part of the rolling process. That's when that pressure has to push out all of those things that are not like God. That is the stretching process. But guess what? With every stretch, the dough never breaks. It never tears. Only when an amateur does it, does it happen. But when the master does it, he has made so many. He developed the process. It's his process. He knows how much stretching needs to happen in order for that dough to carry exactly what he puts upon it. He is the master. So each stretch, you think, oh my God, if they, if they roll that pin, Anymore this way, the dough is going to stretch him. Right at that moment when you think it's going to tear. Right at that moment when you think you're going to break. Right at that moment when you feel you can't take any more pressure. You can't take any more pushing. You can't take any more pulling. You can't take any more. God takes the pressure and he rolls it into another area of your life. He leaves that place that has now gone where he thinks it should be and he moves to another area and he presses. It might be your pride. It might be the fact that you think that you know it all. You think you have it all. You think you've seen it all. You think you've discovered it all. I've read the word from front to back, from back to front. I know what his word is. I've been saved for 50 years. I've been saved for 20 years. I know that ain't God. This ain't what he said. Who told you that? Where did you read that at? We become the end all to be all that we forget that he is the master. Yes, so he here he yes, comes he again with the roller and he presses out on, and he causes us to experience something that shows us you're not as big as you think you are. You don't know as much as you think you know. You think that I am limited to your understanding. You think that I am limited to your comprehension. You think that I am limited to what you know about what I've put inside of you. But I am the almighty God. I am the master. I am the creator. I'm the one who's working the wheel. I know what this product should be. I know what this vessel should look like. I know just how many toppings I plan on putting on this pizza. I know exactly how much. I know how dense you need to be. I know if you need to be a hand toss or a thin crust. I know I am the master. I have the plan. I'm designing this pizza. I am
It's not my order. That's right. But what I am here to do is to say, order up. Order up. Order up. He is now saying you are ready for the adorning process. I know you think I'm still being stretched. I'm still being formed. But the order and adorning process doesn't start when the stretching is done. The thought in his mind has already been created. He already started thinking before the earth was existed. What his plan, he said, I know the plans that I have for you. He didn't just think about it after he finished stretching you. He didn't say, oh, now I have this extra large pizza. What am I going to put on it? He knew before the foundations of the earth what he was going to do for you to be. Just be prepared. Just lay there, surrender, and say, pour on me all that you have for me. I haven't seen a pizza yet that can't handle what is put on top of it. You might have to support it with a fork. You might have to hold it with two plates. But that dough never falls apart. If anything, the toppings come off. The foundation never leaves. God's part and what God has put inside of you. I know you think about that pizza when you cut it and you lift it up and all the cheese comes off, but God never failed. It's the toppings that were put on top that couldn't hold on to what he has empowered. It's the adorning that we have done, and sometimes it's what we put on. It's the things that we've decided to put on top that causes that pizza dough to bend a little bit. And the Lord said, no, 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 that ain't meant to be on this. And you slide on off. That's what he's doing in our lives. Hallelujah. The 
truth of the matter, a lot of people eat pizza and what's still left? The crust. Yes. <laughs> the crust. Yes. The dough. Those things that people, that foundation, that core part of the pizza is still left. That's what God is saying to us. No matter what you are experiencing, no matter where you are, no matter what stage you are, if you can just endure the stretching, you won't break. You won't tear. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. You won't be malformed, but you will be ready to be adored and to receive the glory that I have for you. This glory will last forever. This glory won't fade away. It's not, it will not tarnish. It will not stain. It will not become deformed. But the glory that I have for you, if you would just endure the process. Yeah. Just sustain the wear and tear of life. Just sustain where you are. Don't be distraught. Don't be cast down. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be ye lifted up the everlasting doors for the King. Thank you. 